You can get it. Huh? You can go into low. There was spring in the Berkshires, which meant there was still snow, but so it goes. Mason and I were keeping our projects at bay, and over the course of April 2020, my life changed before my eyes. Hello? I turned 28 years old and had a great birthday in the hills. And progress on the promised land continued. The radiant floor was mostly in. There will be a small water heater powered by a battery bank, which will stay charged via a propane generator. It's surreal to think this place will stay warm all winter long. No more cold feet either. The goal is to keep the cabin off the grid, but combine modern amenities with self-sustainability in order to make the ultimate escape. Medallions. Medallions. Wow. Even though I've spent a lot of time here planning and working on the place, I haven't really had the opportunity to just be here. It's always with a goal for the day or I'm just stopping by while on my way somewhere else. So I'm constantly daydreaming about the day I get to wake up here. Morning sun on my face through the big windows. Hand grind my own coffee beans and sip a cup on the porch. No agenda, the whole day to myself. I can just wander around barefoot, get to know the land inch by inch, become one with it all. There's still a lot to be done here before that day comes. So I have to constantly remind myself that nothing good comes easy and that all happens in good time. Those two concepts always give me a sigh of relief. The longer the wait, the sweeter the reward. So 
So we couldn't go out like the old days and mingle with people and all their energy, which is one of the ways we all used to stay inspired. But we could still drive our old machines through the golden light. And so we did, because the truth is, we choose that first every time anyway. Long drives feed the soul. And so does a 10 pound bag of takeout. There's something about driving around small towns in the spring. You see the people out in their yards cleaning things up and starting their gardens. It's just an exciting time of year. So touch the screen. So, uh, what do you got there? Oh, well, <laughs> as a matter of fact, you got a sugar maple. See, it's like rotted, if they cut it down at the right time, like it didn't rot all the way, it rotted from the center, but you could cut this in half and put a piece of glass on it. Yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? I do. Wigs or swing. There still weren't many buds on the trees, and the forest seemed to be in no rush. Even though we were yearning for summer, the slow pace wasn't all that bad. So do it. Winner, winner. And so we'd have a sunny spring day, and then the next, wake up to snow. Yeah, the snow was like, I mean, I can't say I was happy to see it, you know? No, not in that regard, but I also knew it was going to melt yeah. soon. I and would, hey, it's, it's like, 
the April of the coronavirus. You know, why not have snowstorm, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just True. throw it in. <laughs> True. <laughs> Three minutes. Okay. I was in a really cool routine. I had posted videos consistently for over a month. Every Sunday I'd be in the office early to finish my videos, prepare Instagram posts for my main page, Kyle Finn Dempsey, and behind the scenes photos for the Trout and Coffee Instagram. And then I'd answer comments and messages for a few hours after I'd post, and then drive to the hills to meet my family. We'd all go for a walk, and then I'd eat dinner with my parents. I was enjoying my Sundays like never before. I never really had this kind of consistency in my personal life or work. I was always diligent and consistent with my clients and I gave them every last drop of me. But to be working so hard and have it be for me and what I love, that felt surreal. To be able to spend Sundays on my passion and my family rather than in the office for someone else and for the sole purpose of making money. This was a dream come true. I had to keep pinching myself. Dude, you're living your dream. And that doesn't mean that every day is perfect, but every day is necessary for the bigger picture. Nice day, huh? This is like a... I think... <laughs> so beautiful. Boy, the bugs are out, aren't they? And so we bounced between snow and spring, and my sister taught us all about the wildflowers on our family walks. afternoon I met Johnny Boy on top of Windsor Mountain and up at the high elevation it was a full-on blizzard but wait till you see how this evening ended up this next segment is our spring in a nutshell My mom says hi, Kyle. Hey, Kathy. He says, hey, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, love you, mom. So she's saying, she's like, yeah, you know, if he's got a winch, you guys should be able to make it through. If not, just go down towards the twin bridges and come out near your uncle's. So. Okay. It's basically, we go down past the, the farm and we go right to go to my house. And if that's that hill's too much, we just back up, turn around, go this way, go over the twin bridges, and come out near our woods. Okay. So. Should be good if you need a winch. This is. <laughs> Which way do I go? Down here. Oh. This is gonna be epic. My mom was so excited. She's really? like, I haven't been down there. Rick was just down. He brought his truck up through that end. So, if we can't make it right, we have we have to go left and we come up that road. Okay. But. 
I mean, she didn't sound horrified like That's you good. guys aren't gonna make it. Yeah. But she did say that. I was like, we have a winch. She was like, good, you probably need it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's what I want to deal with right now. Dude, freaking winter wonderland driving up here. Holy right? smokes. And it's not that bad here compared to the top of winter. So shit gets real once we go past this barn. It's right here? Yeah. Just straight down into there? Yeah. Wow. Right, dude. Yeah, this is sweet. He had a bunch of trails and old roads on his grandfather's land. I hadn't been here since I was very young, and we were both giddy to get out on this little adventure. When we were kids, we didn't have serious machines like this to use. All we had were daydreams of what it might be like. It's still crazy to think that we're grown-ups now. Even though I know I'll never truly grow up. And John, if you're watching this, you gotta promise me you won't either. Oh man. Dude, this is so yeah. beautiful. <laughs> oh hell, I know you won't. It's just how our souls are. It's these hills, it's these rivers. The forest keeps us young. It's all we'll ever need. Wait a second. Weren't we just in a blizzard an hour ago? Yep. This was our spring. This is so beautiful. Huh? This is so beautiful. Right, man? Here you go. Thanks. Oh, I got one up. Uh, where's the fishing spot? Back there. You wanna go? Yeah. Do we have any worms or anything? We got the worms from last time. Let's do if it. If they're still alive. Yeah, they will be. I just checked it out. It's a little bit silt filled, but... Whatever. I think it's still good, man. Wait till you see it. You're like, oh. How do I do this? There's a latch. Ooh. I wish I wore my belt so fucking bad. <laughs> you need a belt? I got a belt on. Oh. You want a belt? Yeah. You got one? Dude, look at my fucking belt. Copper wire. Yeah, dude. I'm done with that. 
Let me just make this regal. There's that sweater. Boom. <laughs> How often do you wear that? I love that? it. I wear it every fucking day, dude. Maria washes it, I wear it the next day. Push ups again. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Nice. Doing them at, at Maria showed me the video you made, and I was oh, like, Oh, she did? Yeah, <laughs> grandpa. Like, everybody's been talking about this spot, so for generations, they got downstream to their shadows. True, wow. so we can't even, we can't go any time. It seems like every time John calls me midweek on a whim, we end up on some beautiful, simple adventure. The kind where you know that you're right where you need to be. So, did you still want to do that writing night? Yeah. You said, I'm really into it. When do you want to do it? Wednesdays. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Okay, tomorrow night. What did we say? Gotta get food, right? Hey, you know what I want to do big time? What's that? We sh I want to do, I think we should try and do like a short film together where we both act and we'll both be main down. characters. We'll write the story. And, and follow we'll the, the script. Film. Yeah, just follow the script. Let's like, a, we have to just come up with like.
and the old road we were on took us across one of the streams. We thought we would get through quick and be on our way, but nature gave us a gentle little reminder of who's in control. shoes off. <laughs> That's true. Oh my god. Saw? You have a saw? I don't think so. I might have something though. I have a hatchet. <laughs> Stuck in a river. <laughs> I think we'll be able to get it out. We'll see if we can get out then Right on. Thank you. Even something as stupid and simple as this still has a bright side. To stand in the ice cold April stream barefoot, working together to solve this problem, to get out by all means, to get home. Your survival instinct turns on. And in modern times, we so rarely even feel that anymore. We've become numb in a lot of ways. So I'm grateful to have friends like John who crave tapping into that as much as I do. I'll take numb toes any day, but I'll be damned if my soul ever goes numb. And this spring, I began tapping into something else as well. I started sketching again and creating some designs I've had in mind for a long time. And one week I dedicated multiple days to this little dream. So I'd sketch an outline and then bring that into Photoshop where I could bring it to life with color. It was a long process and exactly the kind of work I've been craving. And so I made one of my old truck with me and Hudson heading out on an adventure. And then I brought the creative chickadee to life. Line by line, pixel by pixel. And I also made a brown trout, the king of the river, a symbol of power and intelligence. Ask any fisherman, there's nothing like pulling in a nice brown. I love this method of creating, a mix between modern and traditional. I made some print ads in college with the same technique and really like how it allows for such vivid colors and clean outlines. And so with my new designs, I made some new merchandise. 
I was finally creating the products I've envisioned for years. T-shirts, hoodies, blankets, mugs, hats, tapestries, stickers, pillows, towels, and more. All stuff I use in real life, but with the colors and designs that make my heart happy. I'm more excited than ever. I created all these designs from scratch, spent many, many hours doing it, and am truly proud to offer this to the world. I hope these designs make others as happy as they make me. If you'd like to check out the store, there will always be a link in the description of these videos, along with a link to my Patreon. And speaking of Patreon, I've been blown away by the support there. April was incredible. There are so many new damn good kids. My mom has made a bunch of handmade gear for the giveaways, and I've got a ton of new stuff for care packages for all the third tier patrons. I've been handwriting notes all throughout April and can't wait to get the welcome gifts off to you guys. I've also got some great bonus content that will be featured only on Patreon. So if you'd like to support the channel and officially become part of the family, you can sign up there anytime. By doing so, you become part of this story and you actively help change my life and make this all possible. And so my mom retired from the hospital after more than 40 years and she's been putting all her time into creating handmade goods. I helped her make an Instagram where she could share her work and offer it to the world. It's called Joyce and Coffee, and you can find her email there if you're interested in any of her stuff. She's been making a ton of masks and bags lately, but she can make just about anything. And no matter what it is, it will be handmade with love and one of a kind. She even revamped my camera bag she put some logos on it and some new straps so I could carry my tripod and gimbal. Now I have everything I need in one spot, and it's one of a kind. And on that adventure with John, I broke my trout hoodie in a bit. It made me think how I can't wait to see how you break your trout gear in. I hope you take it on all your little adventures. And so one day in late April, I decided it was finally time to paddle to the cove for the first time this year. I'd bring my guitar and make a fire just like the old days, when I first quit my job. And I spent all my time creating scenes from my dreams and photographing them. It was all I ever wanted to do, and it's the reason that I'm at where I'm at today. I lost touch with these solo soul adventures the last couple years, but I've promised myself this summer I will get back to my roots. And this old place, my childhood fort, Something tells me I'll be able to find the time to make some serious progress here this year. It's wild how a year slipped by since I started this project, but that's all right. It'll always be waiting here for me. So I thought I had the pond all to myself this night, but it turns out I wasn't alone.
I was surrounded by animals and all their sounds. The best symphony in the world. And so I sat in my cove, lit a fire, and reflected on how much life had changed since my road trip, and how more than ever, I was finding myself exactly where I needed to be. on my shoulder praying to karma I keep my composure I'm seeing signs looking to find what it means all these things that we never could see suddenly are as clear as can be it's all part of the plan Everything works in the end Ooh, in the morning When the sun comes up Ooh, in the evening I remember it all happens as it should In the streams and I sleep in the canyon. My head and my heart are my only two stanchions. Used to be blind.